Hey, welcome to Nanox Trek to Houghton, episode four. This is uh, Logan Hahnemann with the ski team here. Uh, we're just here on the Michigan Tech ski trails getting ready for our races this weekend against um, all the central region. We're having regionals here. So, um, yeah, just enjoying the fresh snow that came yesterday, and now it's setting up and getting faster, and uh, we're excited for, for what the weekend holds. Fairbanks weather, huh? Fairbanks weather, just like home, yeah. It's... Uh, can't get much better than this so but talk about coming to a place like Houghton it's pretty much out in the middle of nowhere and right. a lot of snow <laughs> yeah it's, it's pretty weird being in the central division because you always fly into these little <laughs> little airports and stuff and hope all your bags make it and you drive to the middle of nowhere but um you know it, hidden tucked away back in this little town is actually a really good ski trail system and, and uh, ski community they have had US nationals here a few years ago and they're gonna have them next year so uh, um, even though it's a pretty little place it's a super good competition uh, venue so pretty neat uh, three different Nanak teams here men's skiing women's skiing and hockey all in one weekend I know, it's and crazy it's yeah getting the crunch time for everybody yeah exactly and uh, yeah I wish the Nanak or the hockey team well tonight as they have to got to beat the Huskies both nights but uh yeah we'll hopefully get out and watch them tonight but yeah it's sweet to have yeah three teams in the same town. James Peterson we're getting ready to go over and play uh, Michigan Tech Huskies right now pretty excited it's a big game we need these two points so should be a good one tune in. Chris Brooks for AlaskanAnnex.com, joined once again with the voice of the Nanox, Bruce Check. Uh, a 7-3 win, a pretty good day for the Nanox as we wrap up day four of this trip. Excellent day. I just hope we left enough in the gas tank for tomorrow night when the Nanox can go for the yeah. sweep. But yeah, seven goals, what? First time, actually second time in the uh, Dallas Ferguson era, we scored seven. We did against UAA back in 2010. That's correct. 
Yeah, uh, a lot of goals. Cody scored uh, twice, uh, 20 seconds apart, and all three Minnesota boys scored with their parents in attendance. So uh, you got to like uh, having a Friday road win for the first time in 13 months tonight, uh, and we have a chance to sweep tomorrow. That'd be a big one. Nolan Heisman's what had a 3.9 and goal correct. and two helpers too. That's so right. And Sean Cahill, what can you say? He stopped the puck when he had to and come up with a couple of nice saves, and his defenseman helped him out too with a lot of block shots. All right, Bruce, uh, pretty good day in Houghton, and we got a big day tomorrow. Skiing goes after day one of the Central Region Championships, and then hockey will uh, be taking on the MTU Huskies, trying to get that uh, pivotal WCHA sweep. Most definite, and like I say, every game's a big game, every shift's a big shift, every point's a big point. And we'll say that every race on the ski trail is also a big race. So we'll be out there on the MTU Nordic Ski Trails covering uh, – the Alaskan Annex uh, Nordic Ski Team in day one of the Central Region Championships, and then we'll be heading over to the McKenna Student Ice Arena tomorrow night for another report uh, as Alaska looks to get another two big points. For Bruce Chet, I'm Chris Brooks, and we'll see you tomorrow for Episode 5.